everyone welcome back to the channel a welcome to our first outing for going coastal since our announcement and a welcome you can't tell at the moment but to the beautiful east yorkshire coast and today we're at flamborough head now <sighs> I haven't been here since I was a kid. Literally, like, well, I was never knee high, let's be honest about it. I'm rather tall. But you know, since I was a, a wee lad. Now, <sighs> I decided to come up here for a couple of days. Decided car camping was a really wise idea last night. Kind of sucked. Um, the winds were immense, absolutely battered the car. Uh, and if you didn't know, at the moment, we're currently experiencing some very, very strong snowstorms. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, last night I had the wind and the snow just hammering the car. I think I've got about two hours sleep, so I'm a bit grumpy right now. Um, and then I woke up for sunrise, still a barrage of snow, no visibility, no sunrise. So, so far it's not really gone to plan. What I will say though is that for tonight, I booked a hotel room. I saw the weather forecast and I was like, oh, I'll be all right. I'll get up late last night, ready for sunrise this morning. And then, you know, I'll book a hotel, but pff, wish I'd have booked one for last night, I tell you. Now, I'm sorry if the wind is whistling down the mic quite a lot, because, yeah, this weather's rather shoddy, if I'm honest with you. But, um, yeah. So, to continue on my grumpy theme... <clears throat> I want to have a bit of a moan at camera manufacturers. So, sorry, I'm trying to find a steady route down this little hill because everything is rather slippery. Made it. Now, camera manufacturers, I want to ask you a question. Why? Do camera manufacturers no longer make cameras that are just for stills? Now I'm going to have a good whinge and a moan about that later. But right now I'm on a hunt for a particular picture, just one. And I've come this way for this one shot. And looking at the sea, it might work out nicely. So, I'm going to crack on before I come back and have a good moan. Okay, so that wind ain't letting up. My nose is running. And I'm just gonna spin you around. I apologize if there's any wind noise. There it is. There's the arch, just there. And also, oh, you can't really see them here. Loads of seals. So I was grumpy. And on the other side, I just saw 36 seals I counted. Down here, there is Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. About fifteen down here. There's one just swimming around in the water down there as well. Oh no, there's a load down there. Oh, loads, loads of seals. That must be near on fifty. No, more than fifty. Yeah, fantastic. Beautiful little creatures. Anyway, now before I get set up with the camera, I wanted to have my grump with camera manufacturers. Now, the question I have for camera manufacturers being, 
Why don't you just make cameras that are stills cameras? So I was thinking about this the other day. And I was just thinking about it. And <laughs> with my mood today, I thought, you know what? This is going to be a brilliant one to lay down because I'm going to get proper grumpy. I'm probably not, to be fair. But it's just a point that I was like, oh, and here comes the snow as well. Oh, don't ruin it for me, snow. Um, so, yeah. It's just amusings, really. Now, obviously, I've got the A7R4. They've released the A7R5, Canon with the R5 and Nikon Z series. And they all seem to be running with the same idea about, oh, must get top-end 4K video in. Must get 8K video in with all, I don't know the technologies, but the upscaling and all this kind of stuff in there. And then there was Canon with their problems with the um, overheating and things. And, you know, having to build the bodies bigger so that it could compensate for heat distribution and all this kind of stuff and it just got me thinking why so if you look at the sony camera range you've got cameras like the i don't know it very well so uh, do forgive me i might be showing a bit of ignorance here but you've got the a7s you've got the a7 is it the a7c no you've got the a7 the a7s the a7r why isn't there like an a7 P purely for photos. Do you know what? Stop advancing technology with video and actually just make a camera that is a camera. Now it's rich coming from a vlog like me where I don't use my my cameras actually, my actual photography cameras for vlogging really. Um, I have done on a rare occasion where I've needed to but I would much rather have a camera that's just a camera and vlog through something else there's loads of brilliant little vlogging stuff like the insta stuff and um, is it the DJI can't remember all the little handheld the Osmo and all that sort of stuff I'm using my phone now don't get me wrong it's good having that option there. But how much money could you strip out of a camera? How much size could you remove out of a camera? How much more capability could you cram into a camera? How clearer would Sony's menus be if it was just purely for photos and they didn't have video menus thrown in there as well and all the customizations that you can do for the video and the dial not just on sony all your dials with the little video extras and all the stuff you can do on that whoa big gust of wind strip it out and just give me a camera that is now a camera it's not a hybrid with a video camera installed as well i'm not saying don't make them because they definitely have their place and you know what i know a lot of people make ve uh, films on them and stuff as well especially when it comes to like wedding photography and stuff but just give me a camera that's all i'm asking for so right i've had a rant now and a grump i'm gonna go back to looking at my seals because they're making me happy just all sat around with their little flippers and ah adorable little sausages they are there's actually even more coming in as well. Sea must be cold. So, anyway, yeah. I'm going to whip the camera out and see if I can actually compose this arch. Unfortunately, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have the waves crashing, but with the adverse weather this morning, as well as um, the tide times, um, it meant that the tide is now actually on its way out. It was actually high tide at like half past six this morning, which ironically would have been perfect for sunrise. That didn't happen. You know when you kind of piece all these things together and it would work out brilliantly if it actually all fell into place? Yeah, fat chance of that. But I'm not going to grumble because this place is absolutely beautiful. Um, so I think I'm going to take a couple of standard shots and then I might actually 
try and go for a really long exposure. Yeah, let's see what we can make of this. Okay, so, yeah, hopefully those shots came out all right, and you've already seen them. Um, I tried a couple of different things, and I've had a wander around to see if I can get a different um, composition. The problem is you want the gap in the arch, and it's actually quite a narrow entrance. Um, but, yeah, so I've just taken shelter and refuge here for the minute. Because oh, it's rather chilly. Um, my hand is frozen where I take, keep taking my gloves on and off, but never mind. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to sign out. I'm going to go get me a brekkie, and, uh, yeah, then I'm going to go find somewhere else to take some pictures. So, obviously, if you have liked this video of my first proper out into, uh, on my going coastal project sorry to flamborough arch give us the old thumbs up and obviously if you've liked the topic of the video as well it's something that i've thought before as say i pondered the other day and my grumpiness kind of uh, made it quite relevant yeah obviously thumbs up for that as well drop some subscribe because we've got quite a few videos coming from this little tour um, as well as other times for Project Coastal, as well as my other videos as well. And yeah, this is my account. Take care. Be safe, everyone. Peace.